Listen, I'm just a private investigator, but if you need this dude roughed up with a pipe or something, I have a pipe guy. Hey, he's got a pipe guy. You can't hang out off We the... don't have a pipe guy. We don't have a pipe guy. Not we have yet. our friend Sham, who we think is crazy enough to be a pipe guy, but he's not a professional. He doesn't even have a pipe. <laughs> we'd have to... Yeah, we'd have to provide him a pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. pipe guy, you can't provide a pipe. A pipe, guy. Yeah. pipe guys have a pipe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They know what to do with a pipe, okay? When you're a pe Honestly, I... a real pipe guy brings his own pipe before you even ask him to be a pipe guy. Does a pipe guy have he's a... He's got one. He's does like, he... yeah, it's ready. Does he have a lucky pipe? <laughs> Good things yes. happen with this pipe. Yeah, the one with the most stains on it. <laughs> <laughs> there are many topics and concepts we are all familiar with, but aren't exactly sure how they work. Each week, Alan Fitzgerald and I choose a topic and try our best to explain it. This is Explaining Things. Welcome back to another episode of Explaining Things. As always, I'm your host, Jonathan Tilson, with my co-host, Alan Fitzgerald. Yeah. How do you become a private investigator? Hmm. Are those still a thing? They're a thing. I don't even know where you find one, honestly. I guess you Google it. You guess you Google it? I guess you Google it. You I, know you Google in it. In the past, you know you, it had to be the, like the back of the newspaper. Yeah, yeah, and you went in an office. Yeah, yeah, and a smoky was, office. And there was some dame in there. And it was black and white. And she was like, oh yeah, he'll be here in a minute. And then he'd come back. Smell, like, stinking of scotch. Yes. Stinking of scotch. And perfume. And he wasn't just a private investigator. He was kind of a low-level enforcer, too, for the mob. Yeah, he was. He had other, you know, ways of income. He had side gigs. Yeah, and let's just say <laughs> he had a diversified portfolio. <laughs> Some of his jobs involved, you know, taking pictures of a cheating wife. Other ones involved brass knuckles. <laughs> yeah. So, you're not a cop. You might be an ex-cop. <clears throat> Probably an ex-cop. Kicked off the force for some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some PC nonsense. <laughs> Goddamn woke culture. <laughs> I'm going to be a P.I. <laughs> okay, but yeah, first you're going to stand trial for attempted manslaughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but after that, I'm going to be a P.I. Yeah. After that 10 to 12, <laughs> I'm going to be a P.I. I want something else next to my name when you Google it. <laughs> P.I. I, I think a lot of private <laughs> investigating is is uh, honestly boring work. I think you're sitting in a car taking pictures and pissing on a bottle. I think that's a lot of it. Yeah. I think... Uh, I, but, yeah, I mean, I, I think you're alone a lot, you know? I've never alone. seen private investigative partners. Yeah. I've never seen, like, whenever someone portrays a private investigator on TV or something, they're never a social butterfly. No, they're not. They're not. They're like, I do what I do. Yeah, they're like, hey, I got a job and I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a backup plan, though. I don't think any kid, maybe a kid saw a movie and it stuck with them. Like, mm -hmm. oh my God, I want to be like him. And I live in beautiful Los Angeles. That's where I am. Uh -huh. And I'm going to be out just looking over the skyscape. <laughs> a little bit drunk, but not too drunk. Instead, some guy called you, hey, so is my wife fucking anyone? You're like, I don't, I don't know. So it's just been 24 hours. I, I've been looking. <laughs> I have no idea where to look. Can I be frank? God, I'm such a goddamn perv. I have no idea where to look. She fucks everyone. <laughs> Yeah, that's most of it, dude. You gotta, you gotta advertise, obviously. You gotta advertise, but my, my thing is like, how do you even get into it? How do you even get the resources? Like, uh, resources. Well, the police have a camera on our phone for Christ's sake. The police have a registry. Okay, they have, uh, yeah. you know, like that's what's nice about a PI. He doesn't. He's not. It's like uh, it's not official. He's off the record. You can pay a PI in cash. Just straight up. A PI... He's like, thank you very much. This will not be reported to the government. There are PIs that probably murder. And if yeah. they don't, there are PIs that certainly have a hitman not too far. Yeah. Or if you talk to a PI, he's like, I know. He always knows a guy. You always know a guy if you're a private investigator. Because your job is to be in the know seedy the underbelly. City. To know it. Off the grid justice. Off the grid justice. <laughs> That's yeah. right. You're going to know people. You're going to know drug dealers. You're going to know prostitutes. You're going to yeah. know all these people. It's like if Travis Bickle was smart enough to start an LLC. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think uh, you have muscle a phone call away. Do you not? I thought you were talking about me. No, well, I've been yeah, working out. Oh, absolutely. Do you have a gun? Yeah. You got to have a gun. You hope not to yeah. use it. Yeah. You hope never to be seen. Well, I wouldn't say you hope not to use it. No one likes to make a bad investment. That's fair. That's fair. You don't want to just never yeah. use it. You want to use it <laughs> once. Know? It's like that treadmill in your living room. Mm -hmm. Use it once. Use it once. <laughs> yeah. It is a lot of time being alone. So you have to be, I think you have to be a little damaged. You know, like I said, this is not someone's first option. 
you're a cop, you were removed from the force, you're like, I still have these skills. What do I do with these skills? I was still pretty damn good at my job. I was just, uh, you know... I just uh, needed to be more careful around cell phone cameras. That's, that's right. all. I was just a, I was a little too aggressive for my own good. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm a creature of the night. Now I know. Do it in a back alley when no one sees it. Tiptoeing through alleys, <laughs> providing justice. Uh huh. I don't have to arrest anyone. I don't have to. What I can do is again. You know, I hate to keep bringing it to the pipe, but the pipe's important. My, but when I think of Brian Bay, I think of a guy finding his cheating wife. I think of a woman, like, you know, whatever it is. It seems like, it seems illegal, just inherently what a private investigator is. It seems like something that shouldn't have an ad. No, I don't think so. A, a legal, no. A moral, arguably. But then again, being a cheating whore is also, uh, <laughs> you know. Immoral. Yeah, so you got to fight fire with fire. But a bounty hunter, no, we did how to become a bounty hunter. And, and, and this is... Bounty hunter is more brawn, less brains. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, he, bounty hunters don't tiptoe. Yeah. <laughs> it's boots. Yeah. Yeah. Now, a private investigator wears a suit in my ideal world. And he's also less likely to kick in a Motel 6 door. Oh, way less likely. He'll knock. He'll peer... A lot of peering through the he shades. He has to knock or something? He'll peer. Yeah, but he, yeah, you're right. He's not even knocking. He's just... He's peering. He's not arresting people. No, he's not. He's he, he he's just... Uh, he's, he's information. Just, yeah, he's information. He's information. Without photographs, what was, what was a private investigator before photographs? Just a take, guy... take my word for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> just a guy you really trusted for some reason. For some reason. Just like, yeah, she's cheating. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I saw it all. <laughs> I saw it all. That'll be six thousand dollars. <laughs> Goddamn inflation. Anal sex on uh, on your couch. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and he wiped, he wiped his dick on your uh, signed Ray Bork jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that too. I, I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> you know, for five thousand more dollars, I'll give you the most gruesome detail. <laughs> <laughs> just bleeding this guy dry for everything. He choked your wife with your necktie. <laughs> you want to know how many times he came? Cough it up. Cough it up. Cough it up. Cough it up. More than five. <laughs> Keep it coming. Once on your pillow. Wow. Oh. Another time, for some reason, he went in the bathroom. I think he put it in your mouthwash. I think so. Can't be sure. But for 500 more dollars. I can be sure. <laughs> I can be real sure. <laughs> Do you have any pictures or anything? It's all up here. It's all up here. I photographic to, I, memory. I have to live with it. Why would I carry a camera when I have photographic memory? <laughs> Ask yourself that. Yeah. Just slowing me down. A camera might have slowed me down to the point where I didn't see that guy raw dog your wife on your bed. <laughs> <laughs> the click of the shutter could have given me away. I was in that closet for hours. It took hours, too. He really wouldn't let your wife have it. I hope you're not a uh, insecure man, because what I'm really about to tell you, holy shit. Yeah. Now it would cost you, but hold. And I know you're not, because you have all this money. <laughs> so for 5000 extra dollars, I can tell you the most. <laughs> a man with your means couldn't be insecure. Not at all. For $40,000. So what, your wife's taller than you. That doesn't mean she's necessarily going to cheat. <laughs> and she's I better mean, she did. And she's better looking than you, too. <laughs> and younger. And she's pretty bored when you're talking. <laughs> Can you really... You can't have a family. Can you have a family? Can I'm a private sure it's investigator done. say It's not a happy family. I think either you're a bad private investigator or you're a bad husband. Yeah. And a bad father. Yeah. Like so many other jobs. Yeah, because your job is to be a creep in the night, basically. That's right. Most CEOs, a successful CEO is generally not a great husband and father. No. No. He's no. married to his job. He works 85 hours a week. Yeah. See, here's the thing. You can't see love's value on a stock sheet. So they're like, well... No, you can't. <laughs> I don't know. If you could. <laughs> What's the love index looking like today? <laughs> not good. Not good. But she won't leave me because I have $45 million coming in every year. And a prenup. That's not bad. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. So rich. So fucking rich. Oh, I don't even talk to my son anymore. So far, It doesn't matter. He doesn't care because he a, has an apartment in Manhattan. A, I have a butler to do that. <laughs> the butler's his dad. Jerry's his dad. I'm just a guy. Who fucks Horace <laughs> on his own, comes home late, mm -hmm. saying I was at work. Yeah. Private investigator, too. <laughs> Private investigator has fucked a hooker so many times, he, he gets occasional freebies. Yes, because he, he's done other favors for them. He's done favors with a hooker. Yeah, he's like, oh, look, I'll talk to the prosecutor. Oh, this guy beat the shit out of me. Can you find him? <laughs> yep. 
Sure I can. Next time, you know what? Don't leave the $200 on the dresser. It, this one's on me. Leave 150. Yeah, 150. I'm still a businesswoman after all. <laughs> anyway. I mean, they probably both work out of the same motel too. So yeah, like they're neighbors at this point. Private investigator probably has a windowless office. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not, One window he peers out of all the time. Not a great location. I don't think private investigators anymore. I don't think they get the door with the glass with their name stenciled no. on the outside. I think that's. And uh, there's an there's an obvious blank space where a college degree usually is in a business. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you went fishing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a license to be a private investigator? You must have to have you something. Have, I mean, it depends. Some something. states are crazy. Yeah. Like, in, like, I'm willing to bet in Texas, uh, I mean, you can be a private investigator. You can you could probably be an FBI agent without a license in Texas. Yeah, yeah in Texas, they are for freedom. <laughs> they are for freedom. Unless you're trying to have an abortion, be gay, or <laughs> 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 any of those things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to fucking, <laughs> if you want to be a, a, a lawman, yeah. no questions asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone who says lawman. Only what lawmen are, are allowed to do that. Yeah, but you're an asshole lawman. I think a lawman is 40% you know more likely to shoot an unarmed lawman. That's what I was saying. You're not a lawman until you've shot someone in the face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone unarmed. <laughs> 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 then you can be a lawman. All right? Until then, you're a police officer following the rules. Yeah, until you said, this is bullshit. I'm not even going to fill out the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkle some blow on them. Just another dead scumbag. Who gives That's a shit? Right. Put this revolver on him. <laughs> I don't care if he's retarded. He had a gun. <laughs> Retard had a gun. Uh, ray gun? That's even worse than a regular gun. <laughs> oh, toy, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he called it a ray gun. I thought he had a laser. I thought he had a ray gun. I thought I was going to be incinerated it, like on fucking Star Trek, I, for Christ's sake. He was wearing cool sunglasses. <laughs> I couldn't even tell he was retarded. He's got a cape on for Christ's sake. I thought he was from the future. <laughs> Can't shoot a superhero. I thought this was Texas. I thought I had just taken out Darth Vader. All I right? thought they were equal. <laughs> Listen, this is my third time shooting a retarded person, so you're gonna have to back me up on this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, he, and he wasn't even downs. I mean, how am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? Yeah, a wolf in sheep's clothing is what you call that. <laughs> Undercover as a normie, <laughs> <laughs> or he was. Yeah. Why was if he wasn't up to no good? Why was he wearing a pinwheel hat? <laughs> <laughs> I hope we helped you in your life goal to be a uh, private, private eye, investigator, be an ex cop. I mean, I guess being um, a pro bowler didn't work out. Uh, no, it didn't. <laughs> but it, but it, you could go back to that. You know, you can bowl forever. That's true. You can bowl forever. Yeah. So get yourself an office. You know, one window's great, but if you're just sharing an office with vats of fucking Heinz ketchup in the back of some, you know, restaurant or something, you know, an office is an office. You need a place to do business. Business. All right? And uh, if you do all that, you can be a private investigator. <laughs> <laughs>